everyone, it's Hannah and welcome to another video in the Yoga Basics series. Today's pose is Sukhasana or Easy Pose. So Easy Pose is a super foundational yoga pose. A lot of people practice yoga simply to be able to sit in this position and meditate for longer. So as you can imagine, this pose, I guess, then is a little bit more difficult than it sounds. I found that a lot of people find it hard to sit like this for long periods of time, uh, especially in my class when someone has just started yoga, I find them kind of hunching or uh, not feeling very comfortable in this position. This pose helps improve your posture, it strengthens your spine, it helps open the chest and gently open the hips, and it even uh, helps you achieve a deeper sense of calm, uh, hence it's relation to meditation and the chosen position to meditate in. So we'll begin in a cross-legged position and if you've watched the Tadasana or Mountain Pose video, this will be familiar um, how we will then start to align our body. I will do it once from the front and then I'll do it once again from the side, but the same kind of bringing your shoulders up, back and down to kind of lengthen through the spine and stack your head over your heart, over your pelvis to kind of have a straight line. Okay, here it is from the side and some of us might be over here. And if you are, this motion of bringing your shoulders up, back and down will help you sit up straight. It brings the shoulder blades in together, it opens through the chest and obviously of course you're kind of just like pulling yourself away from the ground rather than having your shoulders you know, come closer to the ground. So I think the visualization of this whole motion really helps in achieving the posture correctly. Another thing to check is where our eye gaze is. So like mountain pose, our eye gaze is parallel and we are just looking straight ahead. This once again helps us kind of create the correct position of our neck. So you're not looking down on the ground and you're not creating the neck by looking upwards. You're just kind of looking straight ahead and you're creating this natural line with the neck and the spine. And the whole stacking that I mentioned earlier, we're kind of here, uh, we're in a line rather than being here. So this isn't our centers off and being uh, over here is also not in center. So when you're here, pelvis, heart, head, it's all in a straight line, it's all centered uh, and it's not really spread out between your front and your back. So uh, this is a pretty deceiving pose because I may look like I am just sitting there doing nothing, but it's not true, it's an active pose. So if you're in the pose with me, uh, from where we are, we are grounding with our sit bones to the ground. So we're heavy from our hips and our sit bones and we're grounded, but think of a string pulling you up. So this is really firm to the ground, but the top of our head, the crown of our head is really trying to push its way up to, push sounds forceful, um, reach its way up to the sky. Uh, so we are sitting up straight and this visual visualization, I think of like a string pulling us up, helps us, I believe, uh, sit up taller and straighter rather than just like sitting here and we're like really compressed, but like really sit up tall. Your eye gaze is still straight ahead. We're not reaching with our eyes, we're, re we're straight ahead. And it's just the, the top of the head that's reaching upwards. So it helps you sit up straighter and your back is working to keep your spine straight, your hips are grounded and they're gently opening. So there's more going on than meets the eye. As for where your hands go, you can have them open upwards or you can have them uh, downwards. You can play around with that and see what feels more right for you. In yoga, we tend to say that if your palms are facing upwards, it's a kind of symbol of uh, being open and receiving. And if your palms are facing downwards, then you are grounding. So just think about that and find how you would interpret that and uh, just play around with it. We are, of course, breathing in deeply. Our breath is steady. If you'd like to soften the gaze or completely close your eyes, you could. And just breathe. So let's, let's try it out. Quick checklist. Am I seated correctly? Is my posture straight? Are my shoulders back down and away from my ears? Am I looking straight ahead? Soften the gaze or close the eyes and let's try it for five breaths.
notice that on the inhale, your shoulders tend to want to come up with you. Um, so just kind of bring them back down and maybe consciously decide that you're staying down as I inhale and exhale. If this pose doesn't feel too great for you, if you have any sort of discomfort in the back, the hips, the knees while doing this position, you can try playing around by sitting the back of the sit bones on uh, either a thickly folded blanket or some pillows or a yoga block and play around with the heights just to kind of see if you can maybe sit up a little straighter that way or if it can alleviate any discomfort or any pain that you might be feeling or if you are having trouble with your posture with your back sitting straight uh, you can try to practice it against the wall so you basically just come to the wall with the same cues of sitting up straight and bringing your shoulders up back and down and feel your shoulders and your back against the wall and it'll just help you establish a whole straight back foundation just make sure that you're really flush with the wall so that we make sure that we're sitting straight and not really bending our upper back uh, against it so that you're not accidentally sitting a little farther away. Uh, and as you progress, you can then start to come away from the wall and uh, maybe sit for a little bit longer, uh, hold it for uh, five breaths, then 10, then maybe you can sit there for a minute or a few minutes and you just kind of notice that you get stronger. This is a pose that you do not need to be on the mat to practice when you're just sitting, even in the chair, the same cues of your back, of your shoulders, these are things that you can kind of check off. Am I sitting correctly? Uh, is my posture okay? It's just a great example of how yoga can kind of come with us off the mat as well. So that's it for easy pose. If you guys haven't seen the mountain pose video, I will pop it up on the screen and the description box below if you'd like to check that out. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.